The problem with many applications of diesel engines is that the exhaust gas temperatures are too low to trigger the regeneration process of the particulate filter. However, if these filters are to work properly long term, they need to be regenerated from time to time. It's precisely for this type of application that HJS has developed its CB Square system that guarantees filter regeneration even when exhaust gas temperatures are particularly low, and that without assistance from the engine, without additives, and without increasing nitrogen dioxide emissions. HJS's CB Square system comprises a particulate filter, a primary diesel oxidation catalytic converter DOC2, and the preheating unit. The flow of exhaust gases from the engine is separated into a primary and a bypass flow depending on the setting of the exhaust flap integrated into the preheating unit. The catalytic converter DOC1 is employed as a catalytic burner that cuts in as of a light-off temperature of 200 degrees C. An electric heating element is installed upstream of DOC1 that heats this catalytic converter up to the necessary light-off temperature if the exhaust gas temperature is below 200 degrees C. A hydrocarbon doser doses and injects diesel into the exhaust gases in order to use DOC1 and DOC2 as catalytic burners. The HJS After Treatment Control Unit, or ACU for short, monitors the operating conditions and coordinates interaction between the system components. During normal operation of the engine, the exhaust flap is fully open and the exhaust gases flow through the primary flow section, the primary catalytic converter and the diesel particulate filter. The bypass flow section is inactive. The filter holds back the diesel particulates. The level of particulate matter, that is, the soot that builds up in the filter, is calculated continuously by the ACU with the aid of load models and the signals sent by the pressure sensors. When the filter load limit is reached, the regeneration process is initiated fully automatically by the control unit. The exhaust flap is closed 80% and the exhaust gases flow through the bypass section. After a brief purging phase, the exhaust flap opens and the mass flow rate in the bypass section is reduced. The heating element is activated and it raises the temperature in catalytic converter DOC1 to the light-off temperature of 200 degrees C. DOC1 is now ready for operation. The diesel dosing system then injects diesel into DOC1 where it oxidizes and releases heat. The amount of diesel injected is controlled so that the temperature in the catalytic converter never rises above 600 degrees C. The two exhaust gas flows are reunited and mixed with one another. As a result, the temperature in DOC2 rises to 300 degrees C and above the necessary light-off temperature, and DOC2 is ready for operation. The heating element is deactivated. The exhaust flap is now closed some more, causing the velocity of the flow of gases in the bypass section to increase. At the same time, the amount of diesel injected is increased in a highly controlled manner. The diesel added can no longer be fully oxidized in DOC1 and it slips through DOC1 uncombusted and into DOC2. The exhaust gas temperature downstream of DOC1 drops to 450 degrees C, while the temperature in DOC2 remains at 300 degrees C. The uncombusted diesel enters DOC2 where it oxidizes completely and generates heat. The temperature upstream of the filter increases to 600 degrees C. Regeneration begins and the soot trapped in the filter is transformed into carbon dioxide gas, freeing the filter completely of soot. The ACU monitors the regeneration process and detects when it has been completed based on burn-off models stored in the ACU and the signals sent by the pressure sensors. The hydrocarbon doser stops injecting diesel into the bypass section immediately upstream of DOC1. At the same time, the mass flow rate in the bypass pipe is increased in order to purge the bypass section again. This causes the temperatures in the system to drop. Once the bypass section has been purged, the exhaust flap opens fully and the system returns to normal operation. 100% functioning of the filter is now guaranteed and the filter can continue to filter soot particles out of the exhaust gases highly effectively. 
a new load phase begins. HJS's CB Square system is a very effective system for regenerating diesel particulate filters when exhaust gas temperatures are low. HJS Emission Technologies' innovative products are playing an active and sustainable role in protecting the environment and people's health.